What's going on YouTube family? This is your man Pristine back with another video. Before you, I've got the Pixel 4a. Let's dive right into this thing. Um, now, this is um, Google's second installment of a budget-friendly device. First, we saw the Pixel 3a and the 3a XL. Um, this year, we get the Pixel 4a with no XL variant. Um, now, I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning is behind that. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some people out there that would love to take advantage of um, of uh, this hardware and software and a little bit of a bigger uh, form factor. But for whatever reason, Google decided to bless us with um, the 4a, and that's what it is. And uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, here we go in typical pristine tech unboxing fashion. I will read over the specifications really quickly um, just to give you guys a clear cut idea of, uh, of uh, what you're dealing with here. And we'll go ahead and get it out of the box and uh, we'll carry on uh, from there. All right. So first off, we've got a 5.8 inch. Well, actually, before that, let me start off with the price. And so the price for this thing is uh, $349.99 at most places. You can buy this phone unlocked. It is a uh, carrier exclusive to Verizon, which at Verizon, for whatever reason, it cost $379.99, which I find very interesting. Um, so if you wanna get it from Verizon, you're gonna pay the $379.99 plus whatever the taxes are, uh, depending on where you live. Um, but aside from that, you can buy it fully unlocked at your local Best Buy. You can get it, I believe, on Amazon. You definitely can get it from the Google Store. Um, <clears throat> And uh, you'll pay uh, $349.99, which is a very compelling price point, especially given the fact that we're living in a pandemic. Um, so, again, we've got a 5.8 inch 1080 by 2340 pixel OLED display. We've got a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. We've got a 443 PPI pixel density. We've got Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. We've got a polycarbonate plastic back. Um, and this phone, it's a lightweight. You know, it's 143 grams, which weighs out to about 5.4 ounces. Now, the guts, the internal specifications. We've got a Snapdragon 730G chipset. We've got an octa-core CPU. We've got an Adreno 618 GPU. We're running Android 10 with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of onboard storage. There is no SD card slot for memory expansion. And so um, if you're looking to expand the memory beyond 128 gigabytes, you're not going to be able to do it here on the Pixel 4a. Now, the camera. Again, this is being touted to be one of the best cameras, if not the best camera uh, in the uh, in, in this particular price range and beyond that, because we all know that Pixels are definitely... Uh, they've got a reputation for their camera performance, and so they're keeping it simple. Um, they switched it up a little bit on the Pixel 4, but they decided to scale it back with the 4a a bit. And so on the um, the main camera, we've just got a 12.2 a megapixel sensor with an f.1.7 uh, aperture. It's a 27 millimeter wide lens, 1.4 micron pixels, and we have dual pixel PDF, optical image stabilization, LED flash, auto HDR, panorama. We do have 4K recording up to 30 frames per second, 1080p recording at 30, 60, and 120 frames per second. And we do have gyro and electronic, Im uh, gyro electronic image stabilizations. Now the selfie camera is an eight megapixel snapper with an f 2.0 aperture this is a 24 millimeter wide lens um 1.12 micron pixels featuring auto hdr and we can only record at 1080p at 30 frames per second now the battery we've got a rather small cell but don't sleep on this battery because i know that snapdragon 730g is a very power efficient chipset now the battery we've got a 3140 milliamp hour battery and again we're in 2020 by today's standards, that's not a very big battery. But like I said, do not sleep on this device into thinking that it doesn't have any battery staying power just because it's got a smaller battery. Again, the smaller battery uh, uh, matched up with that Snapdragon 730G chipset again, which like I just mentioned is a very power efficient chipset. You'll be surprised at the battery life that you may be able to pull out of this little thing. All right. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, again, 3140 milliamp hour battery. We do have 3.1 Type C. Um, now they took away fast uh, uh, wireless charging. 
and we don't have wireless charging on the Pixel 4a here. Um, but we do have a fast 18, uh, 18 watt charger that comes in the box and we've got USB power delivery 2.0 And so you should be able to get some pretty quick charging speeds whenever you need to top up your pixel 4a um, The only color that you get this phone in is just black um, They kept it simple just black. That's just what it is <laughs> All right, and additional features. We've got a rear mounted fingerprint sensor Haven't seen one of those in a minute you know what I mean? Most of the devices that I've got my hands on, I mean, they've, they've got those op those under the display optical sensors. Um, so, you know, it'd be nice, I guess, to, you know, go back to a device that's got a rear mounted fingerprint sensor. But we do have that. We've got Bluetooth 5.0. We've got NFC. We do have a 3.5 millimeter jack for those of you that still like to plug in. Uh, Google decided to keep you guys in mind, even though we're living in a wireless age. I wonder how much longer they're going to continue to carry on that uh, that tradition of uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack. But it's here so a lot of you that still like to plug in with wires hey you know google had you in mind all right um now i i know according to you know reviews uh some have said that uh this phone only has a single bottom firing speaker and i know another thing that uh, the pixel devices have been known for is having really 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 good uh, uh dual tone stereo speakers they once were front facing both of them and then google slowly transitioned to um, a speaker being in the earpiece and then the other speaker being in the bottom firing. Well, according to my sources, um, it states clearly that uh, the, fi the Pixel 4a does indeed have dual stereo speakers. And so we'll definitely test that out once we get it out of the box. Um, and then, of course, you know, we've got your always on display. Um, if you've had previous Google devices before, we have the little feature like if you're somewhere and some music is playing, um, you know, the phone is like always listening for for tunes and on the bottom of the phone, it'll display whatever the name of the track is, which me, I'm an, I'm, a, I'm an audio file. I'm a music file big time. And I'm always, you know, because of the pandemic, I'm not always in places, but, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I work on the front line. I work in the medical field. I work in an operating room. And a lot of times, you know, I go into a room and, you know, yeah, we do listen to music, you know, during surgery. Um, and a lot of times some of the some of the stations, you know, they be playing some cuts and I'm, I'm all over the place with music. I'm not just one particular genre. You know, I listen to all different kinds. I mean, so I may hear something and, you know, I can't, you know, ask the surgeon or whatever. Hey, who that? You know what I'm saying? Who that is on the <laughs> who that playing on the radio, Doc? You know what I'm saying? You know, you just pull out your pixel. And uh, look down at the bottom screen and it'll tell you the name of the song. And I think that that's a really, really, really cool feature, especially if you're in the music as much as I am. All right. So those, ladies and gentlemen, are the specifications. Um, and uh, again, in typical Pixel fashion, we've got the white box, you know, clearly showing the device there on the front. As you can see, the box, it's got a clean look. Um IEMI serial number all that information on the side. This is what the phone looks like on the right side of it You see we've got that white color button um, Of the top again, we've got the Google sign and on the rear. We've just got hashtag team pixel and That's it ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack open the box And I love the fact that you know Google they just give us this little this little thing to tear off as opposed to having to trouble ourselves with the little stickies that are hard to get off usually i just cut through them with the knife but you know some people may be clumsy and <laughs> cut through their finger oh okay we got another one on the side here all right let's uh let's get into this thing here let's see what we got here okay so here ladies and gentlemen is the pixel 4a you can see little bit of a camera hump there slightly protruding nothing really too major at all whatsoever okay go ahead and peel that plastic off all right we'll go ahead and turn the device on you can see that white button right there that's clearly going to be our power button and so we'll go ahead and power the device on as you can see that aspect ratio right there we've got the little eight megapixel sensor hole punch right there in the top left um, i'm a fan of that look all right, so while the phone is booting up and doing its thing, we'll go ahead and take a look at the rest of the in-box contents. Okay, so it's the tray that the phone was sitting in, and let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is just some little, some literature here. Here is our SIM tray right there. And here's our 18-watt 
wall adapter right here. Here is our type C to type C cord for charging and transferring data. And God, they really put that thing in there. All right, how do I get this out? Okay, here we go. So this is a little transfer device that comes in there. So um, Google, they put this in the box to make it easy for you to transfer your data from your old device to your new Pixel device. All right, so um, that, uh, that process is pretty seamless. That's all we get in the box, ladies and gents. And so I'll go ahead and file that to the side. All right. And here we are. And so again, here is that, um, that beautiful, uh, that aspect ratio. And again, I mean, this, the screen size on this bad boy is 5.8 inches. And uh, <laughs> I'm always talking about how I want a smaller phone. And this, you know, I'm a small in stature. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm about 5'3", five, 5'3 three, five, three and a half, you know, about 123 pounds soaking wet you know what i'm saying i mean so a lot of times just carrying those bigger phones can get a bit cumbersome you know what i mean and so um you know it'll be good to have something nice in the pocket that uh that's going to be powerful enough to do what you needed to do um i mean again this is a very compelling package at a 350 dollar price range but um as you guys know um <laughs> and i gotta you know I'm going to be comparing it to this bad boy right here, which is the Moto Edge, because I got this phone, too, for five, uh, for $349.99, which is the same price as the Pixel. And uh, interestingly enough, I'm, I was in my local Best Buy yesterday, and the full retail price for this phone is $699. So this phone is $700. And so I'm like, uh, I mean, would that be a fair comparison? I don't know. We'll see. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Um, but uh, so... You guys just saw the uh, the 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 five point eight inch display to the right of the device. Here we've got again that white color button. That's going to be our power button and our sleep button. Um, it's a multi functioning button. We've got our volume rocker uh, up and down that is directly beneath that, and then everything else is pretty smooth at the top of the device. You see, we've got a little noise canceling microphone right there. Here is our three point five millimeter headphone jack right there. Um, on the left of the device, it is completely clean. Actually, no. So here is our SIM tray right there, that little dot right there. That's where we put our SIM card. And then on the bottom of the device, we've got our Type-C port. Here is um, one of the speakers, the bottom firing speaker. And then here is another microphone. Now, on the back of the device here, again, you see that camera right there, that single 12.2 megapixel wide lens. And then here is our rear mounted fingerprint sensor. And then in typical Google fashion, we've got the little G logo right there indicating that this is a Google device. Now, I know that some people are going to be really compelled for one by the price tag of this thing considering that we're living in a global pandemic and a lot of people are still struggling um and prayers up for everybody out there that's struggling due to the pandemic um just keep your faith and trust in the lord never let go of his ever unchanging hand no matter what because he always looks out for his children um he definitely looked out for me and he'll look out for you as well just got to keep the faith um and so i just want to say just no matter how tough things seem to be just continue to hang in there and trust in him and it'll pull you through um some people may have complaints about the bezels you know me i i'm not i'm not concerned with that i mean i'm a, I'm a fan of the form factor i'm a form i'm a fan of the way that it feels you know the, the the polycarbonate plastic i mean it's more of like a matte feel you know what i mean it's not like that glossy you know it's not like a fingerprint magnet and i like that and i like it's grippy you know like it's not slippery in the hands or anything like that you know it's a smaller phone i've got small hands and so i feel like i can really really just easily get my hands around this device with no problem i mean like i can like rock this phone bucking naked you know what i'm saying with no case it feels that good i'm actually kind of surprised how good it feels in the hand um now i'm not gonna do that you know what I'm saying? Of course, I got a case coming. You know what I'm saying? Amazon.com. But, um, yeah, I'm just saying, you know, if you wanted to rock this phone, uh, booty bucket naked, baby, you know what I'm talking about? You could do that. All right. Now, um, 
Next up, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and put a pause on the video, little babies. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop all my info into the device here. And I'll be right back with you. And we'll breeze through the software, some of the features, functions, take a couple camera shots. And we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna put an end to this thing here, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, hold it down. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are back in here at the desktop screen for the Pixel 4a. And after playing with this phone for the past hmm, half hour, 45 minutes, um, there's a lot to like about this little device. Actually, I like this little phone. You know, I wasn't too sure how I'd feel about it, um, you know, given the fact that I've got other devices. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I've just I, I like I mean, Pixel phones. They're OK. I'm not really. You know that that huge of a fan of them i mean i like i've had some of their phones i like them um but uh yeah i i, I feel like i i really you know can rock with the 4a here um you get you get a you get a lot for 349.99 i mean you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here um for all you stock Android enthusiasts, I mean, you're definitely going to love this, getting a Pixel device at this price point. Um, a lot of people are going to be excited about the fact that I know that every, you know, a lot of people, they get Pixel devices because they're just like, you know, they get those timely updates, whether it be, you know, software uh, um, uh, or just, you know, timely software updates or um, uh what's that the, um, you know, when, 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 you know, Android has a, you know, has a new, um, a new uh you know android well we're on android 10 right now so when android t uh, 11 pops out you know this device is going to be one of the first devices to get that you know a lot of people get excited about that me to me that's not really a determining factor um you know i i want my phones to get updates in a timely fashion but they don't necessarily have to be as quick as pixel um so safe to say you know if you have this device then you will be one of the first to get those types of uh, updates when they do roll out now um taking a little bit of a closer look here at the device here as you can see i've got my little soccer wallpaper going on right here and i'll show you in the settings you know you can choose these different wallpapers to kind of hide uh the little hole punch cut out right there for the front facing camera and it's really cool you know just the different options that you got that you've got to choose from to try to hide that um now uh scrolling through the device i mean again here in 2020 you know we live in a day and age now where people are making huge deals over um uh 90 hertz refresh rates 120 hertz refresh rates you know to some people that may even be a determining factor um uh sad to say here that on the pixel 4a we don't have uh either 90 or 120 uh, hertz refresh rate we are at the typical 60 and um you know, I mean, you know, I'm a fan of the smooth displays. I mean, you know, most of the phones that I carry around with me these days uh, has that option. And so, you know, I can understand, you know, why, you know, some people may kind of turn their nose up at it. Um, I'm not going to do that, but I do understand it is one of those things to where, you know, if you never used it before, it's not going to be a big deal. But if you've had devices that have had either a 90 hertz display refresh rate or 120 hertz display refresh rate, and you got accustomed to that smoothness and just easy scrolling and navigating through applications and just how buttery smooth it is. I mean, go, and, and me being extremely meticulous as I am, I mean, you know, going back to 60 hertz, you can see just the you know the, the 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 motion blur the choppiness you know things just aren't as smooth and so <laughs> going going back to this from most of my devices either having 90 hertz uh, refresh rates uh, displays or 120 hertz refresh rate displays i mean you may kind of be like uh, but you know it's not really a big deal you know um the phone is still going to move in a very, very snappy fashion. As you can see, when I scroll to the right here, this brings up the Google Now. Man, sucks for my man Earl Thomas. I'm curious to know where he's going to land. Uh, the, the Ravens let him go yesterday. Crazy I, crazy to think that. Um, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Hoping that we get some football action here coming up pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, you scroll hard to the right. You get your Google Now feed and you see scrolling through that is an absolute breeze there's no stuttering or choppiness or anything you know so um you're good there and i haven't downloaded any of my applications on the device as of yet and so this is all that comes preloaded on the device again it's a pixel device and so you're getting the full google suite that is it okay no other fluff no nothing well 
I got this from Verizon and so you've got a couple of Verizon apps on there you get the my Verizon app uh, their messages app which I don't even know why they waste their time putting that on there um, because the the Google messages app has gotten so much better over the years and I know that that's mainly uh, 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 trying to contend with um, with uh, um, iMessage and so I, I'm not gonna keep that I'm gonna I'm gonna erase that um, but aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you are getting the full on Google suite stock Android at its finest, at its purest form right here in the Google Pixel 4a. All right. So let's uh, pop into settings real quick. And if you're familiar with the Pixel device or you've had, you know, an Android device, then, you know, it's running Android 10. There really hasn't been any changes. Um, so things are looking quite the same these days and so you know i mean you just got your typical settings list i do have dark mode enabled um now when you scroll down uh, you do have the options to um put the dark mode in your quick toggles so that you don't have to go into settings and toggle that if that's not something that you want to do you can just do it really quickly um i just haven't changed my configuration around with the quick toggles yet but this is where you do that um i'm pretty sure you guys knew that but if you didn't then what you do is you just scroll down from the top and uh scroll down again and then hit that little pin icon right here and that's going to take you to where you can just kind of uh, you know maneuver your quick toggles around where you want them okay and then once you're done you just hit the little arrow going back right there and then those will forever be set how you set them all right um, if we long press on the display here you see we get home settings widgets styles and wallpaper now if you go to styles and wallpaper it's going to give you a whole list of things that you can choose from to be your wallpaper and we find this on a lot of google devices um but um to get these little cool little effects to try to hide that notch it says uh the little section there that says for fun and you get all these little things that you can choose from to try to hide that notch and so you see like this one is like a pool table and <laughs> the uh, notch being like one of the holes to knock the balls in um, we go out of that this one here you see it's the tip of the little dog nose um, this one here you get the basketball player and the, <laughs> the little hole punch is uh, is the basket like little cool little stuff like that, you know, just to kind of make it fun. You know what I mean? Um, and so I thought I would just, you know, add a little something, you know, add a little color, you know, to it. Just like this one. I mean, you know, you see the soccer players, you know, you're seeing it from an overview. So this is the top of their heads. And so they put another body, you know, right there on that player to make it look like the hole punch is the top of a player's head. Right. That's that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah. So uh you know, we do have the uh, the, the full-on gestures, you know, um, let's see, you swipe to go back, let's see, so the little, little navigation bar right there, your gesture bar, any applications that you may have open, you swipe right on it to swap back and forth from those applications that you may have open, um, you swipe up on it to go back, you swipe up and hold to get to all your recent applications and you can scroll back and forth to those and you can swipe up to get rid of them if you want to close out your applications that's how you do that so everything is gesture based or you can elect to have the three button gesture navigation or not gesture navigation but you can elect to have the three uh, the three navigation keys down at the bottom and you can customize you know uh, you know how you want those whether you want the back button on the right or the left side you know whatever you can kind of set them up how you want to all right so we'll pop back into settings and you've just got your typical you know settings list i mean network and internet connected devices apps and notification battery display now when i pop into display we've got brightness level dark theme uh night light adaptive brightness actually i want to turn that off all right styles and wallpaper which i just showed you and we click on advanced then we've got screen timeout screen attention 
Okay, and what that is is just basically it's just as long as you're looking at the screen, the screen won't go to sleep. I think that that's a cool feature. Um, so I'll actually I'll go ahead and turn that on. Okay, when we go into colors, I mean, so we here we've got natural, boosted, and adaptive, and so go to natural, kind of darkens the picture a little bit, you know, um, boosted kind of lights it up a little bit and then adaptive just kind of oversaturates the pictures a little bit the color but i like my colors to have that pop and so i don't really mind it that much and so i'm just going to keep it on adaptive it's on adaptive by default when you take it out of the box um so you can change that if you want to i don't see a setting on here where you can toggle the rgb the red green and blue um so um i guess that's just what it is i'm not going to say the phone doesn't have the option to do that but i haven't seen it so right now we'll just assume that it doesn't have that feature all right font size display size screen saver lock screen display this is where you go to choose what you want to show on the lock screen and so you know if you're okay with your notifications popping up on the screen and being visible to where everybody around you can see them then cool you know but if not then you can go ahead and change that me I always put it on um on lock screen show all notification content show sensitive content only when unlocked and don't show notification as all uh, at all well i want to see my notifications but i always elect just to show sensitive content so like if i get a message from somebody on youtube or somebody that i'm subscribed to post a new video it'll say you know youtube but it won't say anything else and so it'll let me know okay you know i got something from youtube and then i can go into the phone on my own and check and see what it is as opposed to everything just popping up on the screen for everybody around me to read if i'm in close proximity with other people which social distancing so i'm not but just saying all right so that's where you go to do that i'm pretty sure you guys knew that already always on display here's some quick gestures um tap to check phone you can double tap lift the phone up if you want to check the screen um so if the phone's on it's on it on a, on a flat surface you can um there's your always on display right there you can go ahead and just lift the phone up and it'll turn on the display okay fingerprint sensor right here in the back it is lightning quick i have to say it was very refreshing setting up this fingerprint sensor a lot of these um these uh optical fingerprint sensors that are under uh, under the display you know they they uh, i don't know some of them they're kind of quirky and they can take longer than they should to actually get a fingerprint set up this they call it pixel print i forgot about that it was like set up your pixel print um but I mean, it was literally just boom, 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 maybe four or five taps and boom, I was in there. It was done. So and that was pretty that was pretty refreshing. And so, you know, um, you see, we got the always on display there. Fingerprint sensor. You'll see I just give it a little tap. Boom. And it's just open just like that. I got to say the haptic engine on this phone as well is really good. And I know that that's been the case with other Pixel devices, some of their more premium devices. But here in the Pixel 4a, I mean, you know, the, the, the haptic engine feels great. I mean, it doesn't feel like really cheap. I mean, you know, vibrations are, 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 are nice and strong and firm. Like you, it, it really vibrates. Like even though the phone is small in stature, I mean, you know that something's going on. I mean, so, you know, you shouldn't, you know, if your phone is in your pocket, um, and even if you got your ringer turned on, but you're in a louder type of environment where, where, where you can't hear your ringtone or you're getting notifications in your phones in your pocket, you're going to feel this little thing rumbling in your pocket. You know what I mean? So that that haptic engine works great. I love the way that it feels in the hand. Um, and I think you would as well if you decide to commit to the 4A here. All right. Now, again, just real quick, fingerprint. Boom. Just tap it like that. It opens right up. Seems like it's going to work 100% of the time. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, we do have the little gesture where if I scroll down on the, uh, on the fingerprint sensor, I can access my notifications and it'll give you a quick um it, it'll vibrate letting you know that you're doing it properly and so you know if you're scrolling down and nothing's happening either you don't have that feature turned on or you're just not scrolling your finger properly but you just simply just you know scroll your finger down just very lightly and uh it'll take you to your to your uh to your quick toggles and you can see whatever notifications you've got uh, that, that that have come into your phone and then you can also swipe up 
just to get rid of it as well. And so as you can see, you know, I'm accessing that and getting rid of it and I'm not touching the display. So um, that's a nice little feature that you can take advantage of with the fingerprint sensor on the back. All right, now we will pop back into settings and then we've got sound storage. Now under storage, it says this phone is 128 gigs of storage um, uh, out the box. We do not have memory expansion, so you cannot expand the memory. So 128 is what you get. Now, I think there is another variant um, that's that um, that um, a higher gigabyte variant. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that there is. I could be wrong about that. So, you know, don't quote me on that. Um, but uh, with the package here that I got from Verizon, you get, you know, 128 gigs, no memory expansion. Um, out of the box, I've got 112 gigabytes free. So the pre-installed application is, you know, taking up a chunk of my storage, but that's okay because I typically don't store a lot of stuff on my devices. And so that works perfectly fine for me, but you have to ask yourself, is that going to work for you? And what do you store on your device? And is that going to be enough space for what you store on your device? All right. Um, so we got privacy, location, security, accounts accessibility digital well-being and parental controls uh google system about phone and tips and support so if we pop in the system real quick i'm going to hit gestures and these are some of the gestures that we've got now we don't have that squeeze feature that there once was on pixel devices where you know you would like squeeze it to access the assistant you know they they got rid of that i mean it, to me, it was a gimmicky little thing. You know, I'm like, you know, what's easier than just saying, hey, Google, right? You know, you just say, hey, Google, and uh, boom, you know what I'm saying? I mean, your assistant pops up right there. All right, now, some of the gestures that we've got, we've got uh, swipe fingerprint for notifications. As I just displayed, that's, you know, swiping your fingerprint or swiping your finger over the sensor to bring down your quick toggles. Uh, jump to camera. That's going to be double tap the home button twice real quick pop pop that's going to take you right into your camera uh now see flip camera so if you are like in selfie mode or if you're looking through the main sensor and you want to switch the camera you just give the phone a little shake um kind of took a page out of motorola's book and it flips the camera so you don't have to touch the display or anything like that so that's pretty cool we've got system navigation and this is where you would choose either the three button navigation or to keep it on gesture navigation, which, you know, gesture navigation is the standard nowadays. So I'll keep it on that. I'm pretty sure some people still do rock with three buttons, you know, hey, to each their own. Uh, let's see. OK, double tap to check phone that is on. That is just if your phone is off. You just want to tap it real quick and turn on the display. You can see any kind of notifications. Check the time, the date, your battery life, whatever you want to do. Um, lift the phone to wake as i displayed if it's sitting on a flat surface and you just want to look at the screen you just pick it up and the screen is going to come on uh, prevent ringing uh let's see so when the phone is ringing oh, okay so you just hit okay got it so just if you want to turn the ringer off the volume rocker you just click those um, simultaneously click them at the same time and it's just going to automatically put it in vibrate mode and to take it out of vibrate mode you do that again and you'll have sound all right so we'll go out of that and let's see cards and passes i'm not exactly sure what that is show cards and passes oh this is for wait let me see text us things like your payment method oh okay so any like you know your debit card id passports all that kind of thing you can store that on here and this is just like a quick and uh, a quick and convenient way to access those things all right and then you've got flip to shh okay you see that it, it says that flip to shh and basically what that is is you know if uh you live in that creep life you know what i'm saying you live in that double life uh, Ron Isley, baby, living that double life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're chilling with your side piece or you're chilling with your main thing and you don't want that phone to ring and you don't want to receive any notifications. You don't want to be bothered. You just simply set your phone down on its face 
you're going to feel the phone vibrate indicating that is in a silent do not disturb mode and you do what you do and as soon as you are prepared to start taking phone calls and notifications again what do you do you just simply pick it up the phone vibrates indicating that it is now getting out of do not disturb mode and you are back in business Flipdish. If you're a professional, you're in a meeting or got a job interview, you know, and, you know, probably wouldn't be appropriate, you know what I'm saying, for your phone to be going off, you know, you at church, you know what I'm saying, if you're an essential employee, you know what I'm saying, at the church, you one of those, you know, you in one of the ministries, you a deacon, you pastor. You know what I'm saying? You don't want your phone going off while you're trying to preach that sermon. You know what I'm saying? So why you up there at the podium, you know what I'm saying, doing your 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 remote sermon, you know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I'm saying? You just put the phone down on the podium, you know what I'm saying, spit that word, and then when you're done, you know what I'm saying? See, I mean, there's 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 several different scenarios where you can use this, y'all. I just be clowning around about the whole double life thing, man. You know, I just be clowning. It's funny to me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh yeah. So uh, there you go with uh, the features, um, ladies and gentlemen, as far as the gestures in which you can take advantage of on the device. And then when we go to about phone, you already know we are running Android 10 fresh out of the Bizox. And um, just go ahead and tap on that. You know, I know you guys like to see that Android 10 logo, that verification. Um, I mean, come on. It's the Pixel, Pixel 4a. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's going to have the latest version of Android. All right. You know, so here, let's get out of that. And um, now let's get to this camera real quick. And uh, swipe for options. Okay, so. All right, so here is the viewfinder and we've got camera, portrait mode, night sight, which is very popular, uh, video. And then when you go to more, then you've got panorama, Photosphere, slow motion, time lapse, and Google Lens. All right, so we will go back to the camera. And then that little arrow up the top right there, this gets us to our option. We can turn off the flash, motion blur, timer, and then the ratio, full image four by three or 16 by nine. So I'm just gonna keep it on full image four by three. If you wanna get to the settings, you just click on that little settings icon right there that I just clicked on. And this gets you to save location, camera sounds, Google lens suggestions or suggestions, um, framing hints, save selfie as previewed. Yeah, I wanna do that, I don't want any changes. Um, we got gestures, so volume key, um, controls the shutter or double tap action to zoom. So those are gestures that you can do while you're in the viewfinder. Um, grid lines, yes, I want those on. And we'll just do the three by three. Frequent faces, advanced. Okay, show dirty lens warning. Yes, that's helpful. Raw and JPEG control. Show video efficiently. And social media depth features. Okay, so that's under advanced. And then for photos, camera phone resolution full resolution or medium resolution uses less storage video stabilization uh, stabilization that is on by default and you want that on i mean so if you're recording video they're not shaky this phone does have um optical image stabilization and gyro electronic image stabilization as well i mean so videos i mean they should be nice and 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 fluid you know if you got a shaky unsteady hand i mean uh you know uh electronic and optical image stabilization should remedy that um and then let's see we've got send feedback and help all right so let's go ahead and take a quick selfie here Super fast shutter speed and ladies and gentlemen, I got that photo is pristine. This is an eight megapixel snapper on the front of this phone. I mean, that picture is crispy. I mean, <laughs> that is a really, really nice photo. And I'm not just talking about me. I mean, well, I guess I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm God's son, you know what I'm saying? And Lord didn't make no mistakes clearly when he made this thing, right? Yeah, but uh, I'm just talking about the photo, baby. The quality 
the quality oh my goodness pixel uh, uh, uh. yeah all right now let me see let me find something here take a photo of real quick Okay, so I just took a step back and I took a took a photo of my little setup here, and you guys can see. Oh my goodness, look at that! Wow, look at the detail of my little horseshoe my, from from the microphone. Wow, that is ridiculous. Okay, yeah. That just makes me more amped about the dedicated camera review that's uh, that's coming. Um, so um, now you guys know that uh, when I um, when I when I when I talked about uh, <laughs> uh, not too long after the Pixel 4a was unveiled, um, everybody was hooping and hollering about the three ninety nine or the three forty nine ninety nine price tag, and like I said, I got my Moto Edge here for three forty nine ninety nine as well. And uh, you know, um, stay tuned because the camera review is definitely coming because I think the camera on this phone is a beast, um, and I think that it can easily go toe to toe with the pixel so that's going to be exciting to see now i don't believe that the moto edge you still can get for 349.99 best buy had a deal where um if you got it through verizon either if you started service or you upped if you or you upgraded or added a line um or you were just upgrading then you can get this phone which retails for 700 bucks Full retail price is six ninety nine ninety nine plus taxes. Um, if you added a line or started a line or started service with Verizon, you got the Moto Edge. If you wanted it for three forty nine ninety nine, so I went ahead and took advantage of that. And I was just like, man, you know, that Pixel Four out of here and everything that is offering when you can get this phone for three forty nine ninety nine as well. You know, what I'm saying I was talking that trash, and I stand behind it. I stand behind it. I'm a big fan of this Moto Edge. And so I'm going to compare these devices as I told you I was going to and let you guys decide. Okay, we're going to compare them spec for spec. We're going to do a camera comparison and let you guys decide as well. And um, like I said, you can make your decision from that point as to which one you want to commit to if these two phones are even options of yours. All right. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, that's all I got for the unboxing for the Pixel 4 a definitely stay tuned because i've got a dedicated camera review that's going to be coming for the pixel 4a that's going to be followed with the full pristine review and then like i said i'm going to be doing a comparison between the pixel 4a the moto edge and uh <laughs> and uh this guy right here iphone se2 second gen iPhone's budget uh, budget option. Yeah, I'm going to be comparing that as well. Yeah, I still got it. I still got it, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't I want to hear no mess in the comments, man. I know I trashed the phone and I was like, I'm getting rid of it, but I didn't. I kept it and I'm glad I kept it. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned because I got reviews coming on that as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got work to do. I just been really busy, had a lot of stuff going on, but now I'm settled. And I can get back down to brass tacks, as my great granny, God rest her soul, would say. And um, yeah, got a lot of time, like a lot of content coming. So make sure you keep it locked here at Pristine Mobile Tech. All right. Thanks for tuning in and let me bend your ear a little bit about the Pixel 4a. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of more videos that I've done like this one. Be sure to hit that notifications bell as well so that whenever my videos get dropped, you'll get notified and you can be one of the first to check out the video. Now, the comment section is where I'm gonna be chilling at. Now make sure after you peep that content, make sure you get down in the comment section and let me know what you think about what you saw. Hit me with any questions, any comments, any feedback, whether positive or negative. I got thick skin, I ain't thin skin, I ain't sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it respectful because I have an opinion and so do you, all right? So just be mindful of that. Keep it respectful in the comment section. We can talk about it. And uh, 
that's just what it is. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, much love to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your patience. Um, now that everything is kind of settled down for me a little bit, I can really get back to this and really, you know, commit or recommit to it the way that I was before. I'm happy to still be here to help you guys make informed decisions on what your next smartphone purchase may be. All right. So I'm going to continue to do my thing and get my hands on the latest and the greatest, you know what I'm saying, feature right here for you. And uh, do my thing, man. So, yeah, y'all keep rocking with your boy, Pristine Mobile Tech. I appreciate all the love. The channel's growing at a rapid rate. A lot of positive things are happening right now, man. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So much love to you guys. All of my subscribers, I love you and I appreciate you. All right. So you guys already know with that said, please stay safe. Get spiritually fit. We are definitely living in the last days. Clearly, if you are if you're a believer, you can read Revelations and it will confirm everything that's going on right now. And ain't no reason to be afraid. Just trust in the Lord. He brought you this far and he didn't bring you this far just to drop you off. OK, just continue to hold on to his ever unchanging hand and you're going to be all right through this pandemic, through this recession, through sickness, health, whatever you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Trust and believe in him. There's no problem that's too big for him. Not one. Not one at all. I ain't trying to preach to you. I'm just telling you, man, I'm a living testimony. You know what I'm saying? And I choose to use my platform to witness about the one who saved me. And if he saved me, he for sure could save you. Now I'm talking about catch y'all in the next one. Yeah.